All right, this is Grade 2, Module 3, Lesson 10. We're going to jump right into this video. Uh, not much of an introduction other than to say we're just going to answer this question. How many $10 bills can we change for a $1,000 bill? So here's basically the same setup, saying essentially how many $10 bills does it take to equal a $1,000 bill? And so... Um, teachers and parents, the idea is we want to think about, have our students thinking about strategies for solving this question, and we want to allow that growth mindset to take place where students come up with their own creative way for how to organize their thinking, how to construct an argument, and then, you know, justify it and defend it. <clears throat> so one idea might be I'm going to start with $1,000. I'm just going to give you um, one idea for what that might look like. And Well, how many hundreds does it take to make 1,000? Well, it takes 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So here's a $100 bill, 100, another 100 another hundred, and another hundred, so that's five hundred, then six hundred, seven hundred, eight hundred, nine hundred, and a thousand. We don't want kids to say ten hundred. That's a thousand. <clears throat> so here's our thousand dollars, but we did it in terms of hundred dollar bills. Well, we want ten dollar bills. Well, how many ten dollar bills does it take to make a hundred? Well, it takes ten $10 bills. So I'm going to put 10 bills to make 100. It takes another 10 bills to make that 100. And another 10 bills. And another 10. And another 10. I better write the word bills here. Bills. And another 10 bills. Another 10 bills. <laughs> bills. So when I'm saying it takes 10 bills, I'm saying it takes 10 ten dollar bills to equal a hundred. So we have ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. So it takes a hundred it takes one hundred ten dollar bills. Ten dollar oops, I want to just say ten dollar bills to make a thousand. Now that's just one way to do it. There's a lot of other ways that students can organize their thinking strategies, their strategies. Uh, parents and teachers, our job is to celebrate all of them as long as they're correct. Um, at this point we're not looking for the most efficient way or the easiest way or the fastest way. We're just looking for a strategy that demonstrates their thinking. And so that wraps up second grade module three, lesson 10. And really the point of this lesson was to allow students to be mathematicians and demonstrate their own thinking and their own strategies for figuring out how many $10 bills it takes to make $1,000.